All right, so after a little shakedown drive, we got to a truck stop here. We got out of Illinois and into Indiana, fueled up, and we're going to go, but Adam needed to check the cargo, make sure everything was strapped down, nothing shook loose or wiggled or whatever, and we're going to pop the hood for the first time on this Cadillac. So hold on. Big no, reveal. No, it's a little dark. All right, so we haven't, neither of us have seen under the hood, right? No, this is the first time. There could be a wild animal in here. Yeah, oh, probably. true, true indeed. But there's a wild motor. Look how big that hood is. A She's a beaut. Man, it could. All right, what are we looking at? Uh, a V8. We're looking at a V8. <laughs> yeah, I got hit by the Cadillacs too much. Hey, yeah, I don't know. I said it had a 390. It could be a 390. Uh, tell us if you're seeing this. But we're going to find out. We'll go. We'll look at it and find out. Doesn't look too bad for uh, being, what, 62 years old? Not at all, not at all. Still got belts. It's got AC. It's got a freaking new hose clamp on it. That carburetor looks pretty shiny, doesn't it? Look at that. Somebody tried to get this thing running probably not too long ago. And uh, I don't know, maybe we'll see if we can fire it up. The note on the battery, I can't read it, but I, I, I don't know. There's a jump box right there. We're not going to start it in the trailer because that would not be good. You don't have any fun, Tim. It would be, well, you want to risk it? I don't know if that thing going to go up in flames or not. <laughs> I think not, but it could. And we're a little close to the gas pump for that. So we're going to shut her down. Keep on rolling. All right. Before we can leave, I got to clear the way here. There's too many gulls and coastal birds. Oh, this guy's got it. He's got it. He's going to clear the way for us. Come on now. Come on now. Get. Get now. Come on now. Come on now. Get out the way, boy. Mother. Look at me like that. I see you seeing me. Looking at me like that. With your little fancy feet. Your little fancy feet on you. Oh. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. That one's got his eye on me. Oh. Thank you, sir, for your service. Okay, we're gonna go. Alright. Oh, see, I thought we had the route clear. He gets the same one. Look at him eyeballing me, man. All right, whatever. He's gonna get out, get out the way. There he is. Freaking fancy feet in heaven. Great back. Little freaking gull. Good morning. All right. Good morning. Good morning, Tim. Adam. Coming to you from inside of the Cleveland Power and Performance tow truck, and we are loaded up and we are heading home. We took a quick pit stop here in um, South Bend, Indiana. Mishiwaka. Oh. Is it Mishiwaka? Mishiwaka. We're in Mishiwaka, Indiana. We did go past Notre Dame College. Beautiful, nice. We uh, got well rested so that I could sit here and so that Adam could drive. And uh, yeah, we need to be well rested for that. But we have the car loaded up, so we, I don't know. There's really not a whole lot to say here other than we're heading home. So we're gonna go back to the shop we're going to get back there, I don't know, noonish. That says 11.13, so we're going to be there before noon. Be there this morning. Make a couple pit stops or whatever. I got a small bladder. Make a couple pit stops. We'll get back to the shop. We'll get it. We're going to get the Cadillac out of the trailer. We're going to look it over really well and see what we really picked up. When we originally saw this vehicle, we only saw a handful of pictures. I personally think maybe it was a little bit undersold. The thing could be super valuable. It could be a dud. I don't know. It does look... Like there's definitely some meat on the bone, so to speak, here. But we're going to get it out. We're going to get it on a lift. We're going to look it over. We're going to see what engine's in it. We're going to see what it looks like underneath. Go through it. We never popped the trunk. We never saw what was back there. The gentleman who sold it to us did say that there was some odds and ends in the trunk. He didn't really specify what that meant. So I said, if you're talking about any kind of personal family mementos or anything like that, we'll have absolutely return them to you. But uh, it was pretty vague on what's in the trunk. So you never really want to haul cargo and you don't know what it is. But I think we're okay as far as like any illicit behavior being uh, thrust upon us. I don't know if it was the word thrust. Any predictions on anything that we might see? Uh, so far, I really like it. It's a beautiful car. I'm hoping it 
holds up to our expectations once we get on a lift and actually get a good look over. So I'm looking forward to this one. All right, Adam, what is going on here at the toll booth? I don't know. We're, we're trapped. All right, so we just got into Ohio from Indiana, trying to make our way home, and this lady flagged us down and said, don't you go nowhere. Oh, she's coming and going. Is you coming or going? You can barely decide. Uh, I can't decide. Okay, here we go. What's the deal? I have an easy time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Thank you. Okay, so let's race this truck. One, two, three. Oh, bro, he's hucking and booking. <laughs> hucking and booking. Lay down the power. Every huh? RPM this thing had to give was oh, given. 2200. Let's go. This car is just no cars don't really know what to do when you got a truck and trailer. They're like, do I stop? Do I go? But they neither they do neither of those things. Yeah, they need they, to make a decision. They both right? They both stop and continue going instead of one or the other. If you see a giant vehicle, help them out. Prepare to exit just that, just a fa little favor. Just help them out, whether it's go or stop. <laughs> just just pick one. Just make a decision if you're in traffic and you see a big trailer or a, a semi truck and trailer. Just pick, go or don't. I, I get it. I get it. People get a little bit, you know, nervous. Anyway, we are. Uh, yeah, we're going to be getting off the highway here in a second and to the shop. So we're going to get this thing out of the trailer, take a really good look at it, see what else, what other kind of cool stuff we can find out about it. And, I don't know, and I guess figure out what we're gonna do with it. What would you do with it, Tim? Oh, uh, I would say probably just like a simple truck motor, uh, two-wheel drive, whatever, LS swap, uh, airbags. Make the interior comfortable, clean it up a little bit, but not go overboard with it. I don't know, cruise it around for a little bit and then sell it. What about you? Uh, I'm kinda on the same path. I'd want more like an LSA out of a Cadillac V. You know, just a little bit more power. Maybe do some suspension stuff, airbags, like you said, some nice wheels. Deck out the interior, but keep the exterior. As as I see it now, pretty patina and old, but still pretty solid. So that's how I do it. All right, what if there's like a big crack in the frame or some super shoddy frame repair or something that's like, ah, I don't know, this thing's not gonna uh, then work. It's, then it's tough. Do you fix it? Do you build a frame for it? Do you go overboard and, and make something really sick? Or I don't know. Make it into art. Because here's what I'm gonna guess is gonna happen. We're probably gonna get it back to the shop. We're gonna see that it is actually fairly structurally sound. That the interior is pretty cool, and probably that the vehicle is not worth a crazy amount of money, unless we find documentation that like Leonard Nimoy owned it or something. That's a really weird reference. Um, I don't know. Let's go with um, Charlton Heston. If like Charlton Heston owned it during like the filming of Planet of the Apes or something like that, then maybe like it's worth a ton of money or something. But if it like celebrity appearances aside and like finding like doubloons or gold bricks in it, it's probably not worth a crazy amount of money. Um, so that'll be the deciding factor is like, what is it actually worth? Is it worth selling the way it is? Is it worth restoring and selling? Or is it a swap candidate? Or is it too shot and we need to cut it? So we really got to look at it and, and determine value, de determine condition, determine value, and then go from there. We'll probably put some, here's what I'm thinking is going to happen. We'll probably bring it in, clean it up, check it out, see if it even could possibly run or move, and then maybe put some feelers out there. Is anybody interested in this thing as a project or having us build it or maybe selling it outright? Probably going to be the first plan of attack, but uh, who knows? We're gonna go into the shop and find out. I mean, the boss man ultimately makes a decision, and he's gonna he's gonna be the one to say what we're gonna do with it. So um, we'll voice our opinions as always. You know, ultimately it's his decision on what to do with it. He's the one who bought the car. He's the one who sent us out there to get it. Um, but hopefully we could save this one, right? No, oh, hundred percent. All right, so let's get back to the shop and let's get it unloaded. Rolling. All right, we are back at the shop here at Cleveland Power Performance. You know it because I probably just filmed the truck pulling up over here because that just happened. 
There's been no delay, no cuts, and no edits here. This is all fluid and continuous, but it's time to get this thing out of the trailer. It's time to see what we're working with. Let's go. Let's take a look at this Cadillac. Ah, all right. Time to get it unstrapped and rolled out. All right. All right, we're getting her unstrapped. This one off. No. All right, there we go. I'm gonna hop back in the car and try not to pull a damn muscle. Let's see what we're working with. All right, we are inside of the Cadillac. I think it's all neutrals. How am I looking? Over where? Okay, we're resuming. I was very confused. All right, we're over the dump, hump, over the bump. Here comes the sun. All right, well, we're out and they're gonna unhook the winch, so I guess we'll take a tour of the interior now that we're not on the road. All right, so power all the things right here. Look at all these switches. Uh, AC, obviously. Um, 39,781 miles on this thing. You have defrost heat controls, Cadillac clock, radio controls here. See if you got anything in the glove box. I think we might have looked in here. I did real quick. There's some cups. All right, so here's the back. I don't think we really get to see back here before. Um, let's see if these windows work. Oh, those, so we got power windows in the back. And this is when cars were cars. You had freaking your own ashtray and cigarette lighter on each side. That is awesome. It has these flip down seats here. Or flip up or flip down. Those are pretty sweet. And this one I think is jammed up or stuck or I just don't know how to operate it. Another another ashtray. Yeah, a clock here to let you know if you're late for your business meeting or whatever. But that's that. And I want to get this down, but I don't want to break it. I'm gonna mess with that later. So I'm gonna hop outside and we'll take a look at the outside of the vehicle. Alright, pop the trunk. We were told there might be some mysterious uh, stuff in the trunk. I don't know what that means. So, oh, we have this. Piece box. of cardboard, box top, toilet Earth. paper, sheet, upholstery, leather, nylon, full size spare, spare cover, tire cover, more license plates. Tim, you want to use this for some I'll coffee? I'm going to put my drink in that cup. I'm going to save that for later. Uh, what do you think, Dan? That's a body guy looking at this thing. Okay, so we just got this thing out of the trailer, obviously. Dan, yes, sir. body shop guy's taking a look at it. He's going to give us his honest opinion. I don't know what this says. I'll zoom in on it. Cadillac. Something about, oh, that's, was it a heater box back here? For rear AC? Yeah, it might have yeah, rear, it's got rear oh, AC. Oh, that's freaking sweet. Intakes right here. Yeah, that's awesome. It's a big hit. Here. What do you think? I love it. He that's loves it. Get it on camera. There we go. What do we got here? Big comfy back seat. I think I just ripped my pants on the door, but it's okay. What do we got here? This is like a power switch. This is just the best. Uh, you know, it's probably got, oh, those are the vents for your your rear AC. This thing is actually really cool. I can see just kind of hanging out in it. And then if you pick up a friend, you know, you just go like that and you're like, hey, go ahead and hop in, you know? See if we can get this one down. That one's jammed up. That one's not. Any uh, cigarette butts? Yeah, there's some cigarette butts in every cigarette uh, straight. I don't know about that one. But here's your rear AC. Hella cool. Dude, this is awesome. Yeah. This is super cool. I'm surprised, honestly surprised there's not another ashtray in here and yeah. cigarette lighter. Yeah. You have ashtray, there would ashtray here, ashtray, cigarette lighter, cigarette lighter, ashtray. Um, here are your rear AC controls. How freaking cool wild. is that? Look at that. Oh, you got your light switches yep. here? And window switches. So what are these things for? I don't know. I'm thinking that's a power power for that window maybe or i don't know so we'll find out i don't know anybody what is this for 
But this is super cool right here. Your rear AC controls. How awesome is that? It'll be interesting to see what happens when we put power to it. That window's broken. All right, Dan, as the body guy, what do you think of this? I think you just, but what you do, you just cut it right here. For what? Why would you do that? And you take this part off and get rid of that junk. And that's a nice couch. Thoughts? <laughs> no comment, no comment. Look at all the real estate you have. Lounging and relaxation. All right, so, so it shouldn't be a car that ever operates on the road again? Well, that part can. Just imagine that thing slammed on the ground, bro. Just blah, 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 blah. I'm with you. Some Just freaking lumpy, lumpy, nice. lumpy cam in this thing. Candidate. So what do you think looking at the rust, though, that you see so far? Look at the bottom of the front you don't, fender. You really don't know until Look at the quarter. Into them. Yeah, it's, it's, you don't know what? You don't know what's under there. Right. But you, this isn't a car you blast, right, all the way down? No. Or what do you mean? What do you got to do there's to find out? I would just drive it. But yeah. look at there's so much. Once you get in here. Okay, can you see any, do you see any filler? Or any areas that really stand out to you that like this has been a big repair? The more you look, the yeah. more you see. Right. So you really got to take some time and actually look it over and get into the car. Right. And same, obviously, underside is a big one. Got to see what the frame looks like. No idea. See, well, that's what I'm saying. That could kill the whole thing as being a car that's ever going to go on the road again if the right. frame's cracked in half or if it's just like totally destroyed underneath there. But there's the front end, there's the side. Rust on the bottom of the, yeah, same exact rust on this side. Bottom corners of the fender, front corner of the fender. It's got some of this rust up here. But it's like solid. This thing is sweet. But I, dude, I think it's gonna run. I feel like we could freaking fire it up. Let's check the oil. Is there oil in it? This train. Oh, it's trans, trans fluid. Where's the dipstick at? That looks really good, though. It does look really clean. <laughs> oh, there it is. Let's take a look. Dun, dun, dun. Dude, freaking fresh oil. We are going to hook up power to see if anything happens in this vehicle. Eh, probably nothing. No idea on the condition of the, the harness. Oh, there's a light. We got light. Look at that. We're just gonna start hitting switches until something happens. See if we can get some radio, that would be awesome. Hey, look at that. We got a power window. <gasps> Dude. All right, so we got a rear power window. That's awesome. Dome lights on. Radio, we need the radio, this is dude. going to that window off of this. The key might need to be in it for the radio to work. I don't want it to be in gear. I'm not gonna start it. I uh, hear some noise coming from some speaker somewhere but that's it just a little hiss okay not, oh, is, I don't know if that's park or not we'll put it in park. I don't know park. if it has spark fire it up see if we'll twist her oh dude <gasps> oh my lord uh, am I getting pedal Go ahead, hit it. Yeah, oh my goodness, it could possibly fire. I had thought it was gonna make no revolutions at all. Oh my God. Bro, it runs! This is amazing. It runs! So, who knows how long it's been sitting in a storage facility, but it runs. Yes! Yes! Bro! So, All, right. All right. Go for it, Dan. Yes! All right, she's alive. Okay, let it run a second. It might run out of fuel, but we'll see. What do you think MPG she's getting? Uh, how much far is she gone and how much have we used? Four gonna, Gatorades per, per one uh, inch? Uh, one inch, yeah. <laughs> what flavor Gatorade is this, Tim? Probably, where did the gas come from? Did it come from the barrel back there? No, no, oh, I, so think it's, 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 I think it's I'd say it's friggin' 93 uh, right, right, shell power, cool. friggin' yeah. valve treatment. It just sucks. 
Yeah. All right, we're gonna push it in. We gave it a good, good college try, as they call it. So we're gonna push it in the shop. We'll get it fired up later. Actually, we're not gonna push it. We're gonna try one more time. Oh! So as soon as it goes into gear, it it dies. <laughs> yeah! It moves! Bro, you drove it! Okay, running, driving, 1961 Cadillac. I know what I got. No low ballers, serious offers only, firm on price, running, driving. Freaking ran when parked, and it parked when it ran, and we pulled on the battery cables. Dan got her to move. Fire in the hole. Bro, okay, that just bumped the MPGs up. Whoa, yes! Go! <laughs> yes! She runs and drives, people. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Look at this. Oh! Look at this. <laughs> she runs and drives. She's, I mean, ready to go. We're about out of fuel. I cannot believe that. <laughs> this thing runs and drives. Thank you, Dan. Hey, that was Real amazing. Golfer, Jim. Uh, yes, sir. Adam. Oh, my God. All right, what was going through your head there in turn one? <laughs> Nothing. That was just great. I was ready to go around you. We need fuel. Where's your, who's your sponsor? Yeah, you thank your sponsors, bro. Yeah. Cleveland Fire Performance, who else we got? Cadillac, of okay. course. Um, Union 76 fuel. Let's go. Uh, what else? Is that it? Oil That's from it. oil. Um, I dropped you. There's all our sponsors. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Okay, all we gotta do is add a little bit of coolant water in it. We got our new gas tank installed. Quick disconnect, of course, as always. And now we're gonna get some coolant in it. Let's see if anything's leaking out of it. Keep an eye down there. I don't see any fluids. All right, get in there, and we're gonna go. Yeah, get in there. We're gonna go for a drive. I'm just gonna run. If you start driving around the trailer, I'm just gonna run and follow you. There we go. Ah, something's going on with that rear end. Okay. Okay. Yes. Look at that. All right, let's see what we can do here. You are good. Clear. Cadillac limousine. Driving down the dang lot here at Cleveland Farm Performance. It's got functional lights and everything. Let's go, dude. I'm getting in the back. All right, sir, take me. Important business meetings to attend to. Less than 12 hours ago, we were in Chicago picking this thing up. It sat in a storage facility for many years. And here we are, Cleveland Power Performance, driving. Am I going, what am I doing? I don't, I don't know. know. We are not cutting this damn car. I do not know. What? Go, we're not cutting this yes, car. Go, go, go back. Go wherever you want to go, uh, dude. I mean, we should, Well, actually, I think we're in the back. We should be telling him where to go. Yes, where are we going? Uh, drive it around and turn around the gravel up there. Yeah, turn around the gravel. Up there. Splash that tank. This, Put your windows down. Oh, yeah. We got power windows back here. I mean, it's, it's a one finger car. Look at that. Incredible. This is a testament to Cadillac right here. All right, and magically, poof, just like that, the lac is on a lift and in the air. So now we can really get underneath it and take a look at the undercarriage and the underside and see what we're dealing with. We're gonna start at the back, work our way to the front. All right, Adam, Hello. what are, what are we looking at? We've got some cobwebs. Yep. But uh, if we look past that, we're gonna see some pretty decently solid frame for the age of the vehicle. Yep. Structurally speaking, yeah. looking good back here. Oh yeah. All right, uh, rear end is obviously freed up because we drove it. Looks like some uh, nice work on some brake lines. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that. Some zip ties. Those aren't uh, 61 correct. Where? Right there. How can you tell? I don't think they had zip ties oh. back in 61. All right, we're gonna have to check. <laughs> She's an X-frame car. Yep. So that's the frame rail come to the center. Yeah, she's... Floor pans are pretty solid. Some undercoating. It's not like I'm pushing the finger through. Yeah. We were standing on the inside of this right, thing. Right, so. right. Are those the rear AC hoses? Yeah, those are the yeah rear AC hoses. Uh, and then super same, cool. I think there's some on this side too. Or no, they're back there. Yep, and probably crosses over. Yeah, yeah, crosses over back here. Some hose clamps. Some, those some look... new brake lines. That, yeah. We were scared about the brakes, but... I'm not scared no more. Nope, somebody did. Look at that. Even so we got the tag on it. Yeah. 
Front suspension, anything worth mentioning? No, looks like it's all there. Reminds me of a e-body charger. Why is that? Because it's got like the lower control arm with the, like the strut rod for the front that uh, kind of helps align it. I mean, except, you know, B-bodies have t torsion arms, these have springs, but. Well, it looks pretty solid. Surface rust, obviously. Yeah, but it was gonna a, have It was a northern car. So now I guess we gotta figure out what are we gonna do with this thing? That's the plan. Actually go through and maybe put gas in a real gas can in there, <laughs> a real gas tank. Uh, maybe get it running and actually go on, out and test drive it, look at the brakes, check over the tires, you know. We'll see what the future holds for this beautiful gal. All right, there you'll have it. We went from Columbia Station to Chicago, back to Columbia Station, where this Cadillac sat in storage for who knows how long. Um, got back here, it ran, it drove, it looks like a pretty solid car. We went out there to pick it up with no plan, really, on what we are going to do with it. Thought maybe, okay, if it's rotted out underneath, we could cut it and make some automotive art out of it, but I think it might be a bit too clean for that. I don't know. We're going to find out. So let us know what you think we should do with this thing and stick around to see what we do with this 1961 Cadillac. Thank you very much for tuning in to Cleveland Power and Performance YouTube channel. Adam and myself had a great time going on this road trip with you. So uh, stick around, see what we do with this, and see what we come up with next at Cleveland. Power and Performance. Yeah.